In this module, we will take a brief look of the emergence of wide area networks, especially that, what that is concerned with the internet. In the early days of uh, wide area networks, the wide area network that originally started known as the ARPANET was based largely on uh, telecommunication lines or analog lines that were later improved in terms of the uh, of the service that it could provide to support computer communication. But even then, the technology that was uh, used was still the analog technology that ran the ARPANET, where specially conditioned lines were used to facilitate high speed analog communication. So that was the past. That's the reason, even in the past, when you had a computer and you wanted to connect the computer to the internet, there was a device that had to be used in between known as a modem. The word modem stands for modulation, demodulation. What it does is it takes the digital signals from the computer and it converts the digital signals into analog signals that could be carried over the analog lines. And this form of conversion is known as modulation. Uh, when the information leaves a computer, and goes in this way. It is converted from digital to analog. When the information comes from the outside world through the analog lines to the computer, the modem performs the demodulation process where it converts back the analog signal into the digital signal. So in the past, uh, it was based on analog technology it was somewhat limited. When you had the network in this manner, the ARPANET was constructed using sophisticated nodes that were basically routing devices such as routers in some cases, some cases computers and so on. So when information traveled from one place to the other, at each node it will determine what is the next best path to take to reach its destination and so on. Later on, uh, what happened was uh, the analog lines were being digitized and the current form of wide area network that is emerging it has a large portion of its network run by digital technology, digital technology. This digital technology is currently run both on copper wire as well as on fiber optics. In other words, uh, fiber technology is being used to uh, carry information uh, in digital form. At this point, we could say that both the computing and communication technologies both are converging into the digital world. In the case of the digital technology that is being used to carry information over the, over the internet, an emerging, fast emerging technology is known as ATM. ATM stands for Asynchronous Transfer Mode. It is now helping to carry the information at very high speeds, even at the rate of gigabits per second. The ATM technology can be used not only on wide area networks, it could also be used in LANs and any other form of uh, network as well. Uh, it is being said that ATM may creep into local area networks, but there is a major challenge to ATM at the local front. At the backbone, at the wide area network level, ATM has established itself. It is emerging as one of the leading technologies, but its entry into the desktop or the local area network scene is somewhat uh, uh, under question at this point in time because of the fact that the Ethernet technology has established itself very firmly at the local area network uh, scene. Uh, when Ethernet first sta started, it was only possible to communicate at 1 megabits per second. Since then, it has progressed to 10 megabits per second. And right now, 
most of the companies have 100 megabits per second network networks installed and these networks are based on the ethernet technology that is at the local level of course and the next technology or the next speed to which ethernet is moving right now is the gigabit ethernet where the networks will work at 1 gigabits per second uh, this is the current trend in the sense that companies that are taking the lead are moving from 100 megabits per second networks to 1 gigabit per second networks. Uh, these networks will facilitate uh, the introduction and perhaps the absorption of uh, the delivery of videos and so on. If we want to send information over the network, uh, voice information, uh, video information etc then it's important that we have a faster network and the one gigabit per second network would be helpful in terms of sending audio video etc right now it is also possible to find uh, ethernet technology that runs at 10 gigabit per second and of course later on uh, we would see the hundred gigabits per second network coming into uh, existence at this point in time there are research networks uh, there are there is research being conducted and there are implementations of 100 gigabits per second networks but it is yet to gain widespread uh, acceptance in the uh, in the business world so if we were to go back and look at uh, what is happening in the in the real world right now many of the organizations uh, have installed and they do operate their ethernet networks at 100 megabits per second incidentally ethernet is perhaps the most popular uh, LAN technology that is currently being used uh, one gigabit per second products have uh, become much cheaper very affordable so one could see the companies moving into one gigabit per second networks and of course 10 gigabits per second networks are there uh, they are more expensive and of course at the research and perhaps uh, at the initial implementation stages we also see the 100 gigabits per second ethernet network therefore in the long term we could expect a very high speed internet that operates uh, under the ATM technology getting, carrying information at speeds uh, measured in gigabits per second and the local networks operating at anywhere from one gigabit per second upwards and when this network is in place we could uh, basically look at a lot of uh, multimedia applications and activities taking place over the internet at this point there is a project underway to set up a fast internet that is known as the internet 2 that connects various uh, research institutions universities etc where the communication is conducted at a much faster speed that is known as internet 2 that is an emerging uh, network uh, one could expect uh, whatever advancements that have been made in internet 2 will eventually find its way into the general internet whereby making the general internet uh, faster and uh, more open to multimedia applications.